Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight, and in my last Fallout video, I expressed the opinion that closing out this last area, finishing the Dry Gulch expedition here, as it were, claiming it for one of the one of the greater gangs, would cause the cascade effect of having one of the gangs turn on me. But I realize I'm pretty sure I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm pretty sure that that doesn't happen until after you start going after Commonwealth territory. Until you get the five Commonwealth settlements, which I'm not going to do. So we're never going to have that particular part of things play out. I don't think. So what we're going to try and do right now is claim this. And then... I have a speech planned. What's he doing? Oh, he's having a, having a little sit-down with the... Really? Dude? Um... You're just sitting on a dead guy. Let's get him right over there. I guess that's symbolic. 308 rounds. Nuka Extreme Recipe! Well, that is definitely worthy. All right, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Activate. We're gonna give this one with old-timey West stuff to the operators. Completed. High noon at the Gulch. That might have completed some other stuff too. Oh, uh, here we go. Porter. Hey, what's up, boss? Look alive, Gage. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. I made a promise to all of you, and I followed through. There's nothing more to it than that. You make it sound like it's no big deal. You've just got to understand, we ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> now nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. Needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, Everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Oh, nuts. I was just starting to get cozy in my little castle. Now you're starting to sound like Coulter. You remember? The idiot whose body we recently dumped into the river? He was always content to just barely scrape by. Look where that got him. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely, just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shed some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, you've got it. Okay, complete the grand tour. Now, I want to do that one more time. Started home sweet home. Talk to Shank. 
But let's reload. Cause I want there's there was one one uh, option there, one speech option that I thought was really interesting. So here we are again. We're gonna walk walk, walk over here. Okay, let's see if that was too perfect. Let's see if Gage walks up here again and sits on. We're gonna watch him sit on this guy. Come on, Gage. All right, let's do the time warp again. <laughs> oh, Gage. He's completely oblivious to anyone else except how they relate to you. A 308 and yeah. hardened sniper rifle. All right, yeah, that's, I missed that before. Howdy, partners. Yes. Still giving it to the operators. Completed. Secure high dry rock ultra. Oh, you don't get the whole da da because you've already done it once. Okay. No, oh, there you go. There's the da da. Complete high new at the gulch. Then you have to talk to Gage. Hey, what's up, boss? Look alive, Gage. Well, I'll be damned. You actually did it. Nuka World is ours. All of it. So we should do surprise or what I do best. Why are you acting surprised? Hey, no disrespect, boss. You've just got to understand. We ain't ever been on ground this solid before. Now that we're here, let's keep this party going. I'm thinking it's time we set our sights on the Commonwealth. Still gonna go with sarcastic. Aiming pretty high, aren't you, Gage? Why stop there? Why not take over the moon while we're at it? <laughs> nah, the little green men can keep that one. Taking back Nuka World is a big friggin' deal, no question. But it can't be the end of things. It needs to be a beginning. These bunch of savages need a goal, something to focus on. If they ain't got it, they'll wind up turning on each other. In an operation this big, we're gonna need more of, well, everything. Nobody's gonna hand it to us. We need to take it. Commonwealth has a ton of shitty little settlements that could be put to better use. Don't you think? Now, interestingly, first thing all, if you notice, you can see that his eye behind his eye patch there is good. So he must be doing that pirate thing where he's keeping his night vision good. Yeah, he's having one eye covered. Plan from the beginning. That's the thing I wanted to, sit to, to bring out. I'm curious as to what this... this uh, Hey, Prince boss, Beach we're Turner's. talking here. Okay. Sounds like you've had this plan from the beginning. The ideas crossed my mind, sure. But I'm just making suggestions here. You're the one that needs to give the go-ahead. We don't gotta rush into this headlong. We take it slow. Be smart about it. If we're aiming to grab a piece of the Commonwealth, it's going to take the right contacts and a lot of muscle. Right? I say we go have ourselves a chat with Shank. He's the point man for everything entering and leaving Nuka World. He floated this idea before. Been itching to talk to you ever since you took over. So I bet he's got a good idea of where to start. He's in charge of the caravan, so odds are you can find him somewhere near the marketplace. Okay, the Brahmin thing wasn't... Uh... You trust this Shank guy? You ought to know by now. I don't trust anyone. But Shank's on the level. I got no reason to think he'd screw us. Especially if he stands to profit as much as anyone. Okay, we can still, uh... What's he gonna do? Show me how to milk a Brahmin? Maybe. If you ask him nicely. Just head over and talk to the guy. He'll back up what I'm saying about the Commonwealth. And while you're doing that, I've already got the gangs working on getting Nuka World's power plant up and running. It's about time we shift some real light around here and let people know we mean serious business. Oh, and if you need my advice and you want me to keep tagging along, 
Looks like it's okay. You got it. I think. Completed the grand tour. Without any British guys. Oh, God. Ah. No regard for anything. None. All right, Porter. I've got some talking to do. Hope this PA system I had you hook up works. You're gonna be in serious trouble. Attention, Raiders of Nuka World. This is your overboss speaking, so listen up. I have just cleaned out the last of the Nuka World parks for your use. You're welcome. To commemorate this event, I want to share some thoughts with you that have been brewing for some time. I've seen a lot of evil. I've fought in the war that ended society. I was frozen by people who promised to quote-unquote keep me safe. Had my wife brutally murdered and my son kidnapped. I've seen my son take over the organization that killed his mom and run like it was his greatest treasure. Kidnapping and murdering people for the benefit of science! I destroyed the Institute. Unless my son had the good sense to die of cancer before the explosion, I killed him too. I've seen people who believe the greatest religious good is to reduce people to atoms. I've seen raiders of every stripe. And you know what all these evil acts and actors have in common? Justification. Everyone thinks that what they're doing is right from a certain point of view. Tragedy befalls them, and when they try to make sense out of the world, what makes sense to them is evil. Betrayal breeds betrayal. Selfishness breeds selfishness. Violence breeds violence. And you guys, you're dripping in it. I know some of your stories. I know the horrors you experienced that drove you to pay it forward. And your dastardly deeds push other people to form more dastardly deeds. Whatever you sow, you reap. Usually tenfold. You guys, well, you're master farmers when it comes to evil. I mean, I've seen some perverse, twisted, deranged creatures full of blackness in my time. But you bastards, uh, you take the cake. I mean, luring me here by taking advantage of my sympathetic nature. Brutally trying to murder me in the gauntlet, having me fight for my life for your entertainment, and then making me overboss when I refuse to die? That's warped. But I don't believe anyone is beyond redemption. I've seen that too. I've seen people who have seen and raised hell on earth and walked away from it. I've seen people who overcame that thick ooze that infects the blood in the mind called justification. Amazing people. Once you leave justification on the ground and walk away, miracles can happen. Keep it close to your heart, you have the power to stick knives in people. Justification is the blindfold that keeps you from seeing what's right and wrong. It's at the heart of every war. That's why war never changes. So as your overboss, I give you this command. If you want to leave your justifications on the ground here in Nuka World, set off on a new path, do it now. I don't want anyone who's looking for redemption to stay. But if you only want to drink from the warm, sickeningly sweet cup of justification, which will burn you from the inside out even though you don't feel it, and that's the life you want, I promise you, I'll make Nuka World the place for you. That is all. Overboss out. That especially applies to you, Gage. I like you. I really do. But if you don't straighten up and fly right, if you ever turn on me, I will fulfill the most heavy-handed foreshadowing in a storyline ever. You will die from irony itself. Now let's go. Okay, so I guess, I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs> 